Hello, Jim Carrey. I'm the one who know how this universe working. And uh, what happened like a 13 or 14 billion years ago? So it happened. We have an energy concentration who exploding, expanding, and emit energy waves who have a nature of galaxies. So galaxies are like a very big particle who moving very fast, far away from this area. We are here. And everything what we can see, like a visible universe, it's this area. And one moment we go into here, and then next here, and here. And that's the way it's going. So everything, our stuff, born uh, from energy who already moving in space, who already been there. So space not expanding at all, or curving. We can expand everything with a uh, energy whose density changing. And uh, what we have to remember is that there's coming some energy that way. That way. And uh, all quarks and uh, particles can absorb more energy for quarks and particles. So these quarks can uh, change this energy what it is inside quarks. And, and later, like this pencil, we here, uh, it can change all energy what is inside this pencil. It's same pencil and same atoms, but uh, these atoms inside it's it's not same energy what was like uh, when this pencil uh, made it. And uh, it's quite funny thing, I think, if you think about that. But uh, what what happened inside the nucleus of atoms? We have uh, quarks. And quarks exploding, expanding, and they pushing them same far away, same way what they expanding. And they emit some energy, and this energy coming here and pushing that that way. So this today physics say there's some gluon who moving that way and mass here and get these quarks moving that way. But it's stupid idea because you know this um, energy, moving energy, pushing these quarks that way. And when this quark is here, this energy going, it's not mass, and it's not pushing so so much. And this quark getting bigger, it's expanding, and then this energy mass more here, and pushing this quark, you know. And we have protons and neutrons, they are same kind of systems. And they, they, they expanding and emit some energy. And they pushing themselves far away. And when this pushing more, it's here. And this energy is not mass here. And it's not pushing so much. Also, these quarks can cover some base. So this energy can't go here. And it's can't pushing this other proton, uh, proton or neutron far away. But when this uh, situation changes, there's coming more energy and pushing energy, and that's the way everything going. This is something what you have to remember when you think about how this universe work, really works. And uh, also, it's good to remember photons expanding, and they emit some energy, and they're pushing themselves far away. So this old light who is redshifting, it's not redshifting because space expanding. Because space don't expand. And also what happened, we get more energy here. And here. And this energy pushing this uh, visible universe energy far away from this area. And when we are here, we get more energy here. And that's where this galaxy group who are here, they move in faster than we moving. And we moving faster but this galaxy group moving here. And that's why we can see everything uh, going far away from us. And if you are here, your visible universe is here. You know, it's almost like this. But anyway, this is what you can see. And next moment you are here. And that's the way it's going. And uh, so, sun expanding, and sun emit neutron, neutrinos, and neutrinos expanding, and emit kinetic energy for our nucleus of atoms, and uh, that's why quarks can absorb this energy, 
also uh, galaxy center is very big uh, energy concentration like a huge black holes they stalled but these black holes don't have a gravity because these black holes also expanding and emit energy waves who have a nature of atoms and that's the way it's going thank you